And we're gonna start. Hello, everyone. Yes, yeah, Spectre is back to being small. And I have a Madam Hellfire standing next to me making sure that if I actually, that I actually pick good horror YouTube. So why don't you guys say hi? Yo. Hope everyone's well today. Madam Hellfire is for some reason not freaking, is freaking completely muted. Oh, lovely. So anyways, how is everyone today? I am tired. <laughs> I am too. But like Madam Hellfire, I think I had to go do something. I don't know. I didn't see anything. I could be wrong. Oh, it's no worries. Hang on. She sent something. Oh, she put a BRB. She'll be back. Anyways, that gives me time to actually talk about shit that doesn't fucking matter. Yay! <laughs> Let's go. Oh, crap. Hang on one second. All right. Uh, yay. Um, you guys can't fucking... I can't fucking hear anything because my fucking jack is acting up again. Hang oh, on. No. God damn it. <sighs> yeah, um, just so you guys know, my fucking headphones for some reason do this thing where if I bop them... They will stop fucking working completely, so I can't hear what anybody is saying. Oof. So give me one second to fix this freaking problem. Um, if you got, if, uh, Spectre, if you can hear me, fucking do something, please. Yeah, Make sure okay. people can um, actually fucking be, I can't hear shit, hang on. Yeah, no problem, no worries, don't worry about it, I got it. Alright, um, so... Right now, listening to Brian Furry. Barry, I just messed that up. I am so <laughs> I'm so sorry. Is your love strong enough? I've never heard that song. That's, um, sounds good, though. Hello, Dylan. Hello, Come on, you Red. Son. Hope everyone's well today. Been a very quiet Saturday, really. I suppose that's kind of what do you expect going in, I guess. Usually the weekends are like that. What have you what have you guys been up to? I also recommend some friends to hold on. Recommend some friends to Knox, hopefully to add new subs. Nice. Good. Yeah, cuz all the the more subs the better cuz um I'd like to see him grow more as it, as time goes on. So anything that helps him will be better for my psyche. <laughs> I'm excited for today. I've been on the kind of the horror binge as of late. Still having problems. I'm sorry. No worries. Let's see here. Great. Um, my headphones aren't working at all. Oh, joy. Um, hang on. I'll be right back. No worries. I'm back, though. Okay. His headphones aren't working, so he's trying to uh -oh. fix that. Yeah. Conveniently, as soon as it starts up. Streamer <laughs> fail. <laughs> uh, though I am really excited excited for tonight. Oh, yeah. I, I initially wasn't going to come on to this, but um, considering I've been in a huge horror mood as of late, I figured, like, why the fuck not? Mm. Yeah. Ugh. Actually, last night, funny enough, um, I, 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 I mentioned before in our convo that I, okay. I blame my buddy. Hmm? Um, no, what fucking happened was my fucking 
headphones just died on me, so I had to go grab my other ones. Oh, oh okay. boo. Gotcha. It's always something. I blame Dave yep. Meltzer. <laughs> but yeah, um, how is everybody doing today? I see we have a Dylan Bacon, we have a Red Chaos, a Watch Station, a DVD and Film Bloke. Hope everybody is doing well. I am doing well. I'm actually doing very well. How are Besides you, Madam? Stomach ache. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I have a stomach I'm ache, too. I'm okay. I am hanging in there. And I see Watch Station said something about getting me new subs. That's fucking awesome. Thank you for that. I really need to get new subs. The more, the merrier. As long as it's not Subway. I think Subway is the reason why I'm having fucking problems. <laughs> That'll do it to you. Yeah, most likely. That's going to suck. Ali, you missed fucking streamer fail number 7,624. Play the music. Oh, fuck. Hold mm -hmm. on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, where is it? Stream or fail? Stream or fail? I just had a stream or fail. I'm going to check something go. really quickly. Love it. So, entertain. Uh, okay. Yeah. Doing a little dance, da -na -na, dance, monkey dance. <laughs> da -na -na. <laughs> hey, Symbols. guess what it was? What? My fucking cord to my fucking headphone jack. Oh. oh. I don't have this set up for Bluetooth because I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> uh, he's not just having streamer fails he's a boomer too yep well, duh well duh. technically I'm a millennial <laughs> but that's beside the point anyways I'm going to start off with a little bit of preview for next week for all of you guys out there you see I have come up with this new hobby it is called fucking with Dave Meltzer it's self explanatory you see I have, if you don't like know pro wrestling, I apologize. This is going to be way over your head. But if you know pro wrestling, you would know who Eric Bischoff is and Dave Meltzer and how they hate each other. Well, Dave Meltzer decided to fuck with um, Sir Eric Bischoff and say one of us goes bankrupt and destroys businesses. The other needs to insert a comma. So... Those who know me know I can't resist a challenge of picking on somebody I actually despise. So I wrote, One has produced other forms of TV and has at least attempted to be successful in other endeavors. The other is a tabloid journalist who kisses the ass of two men younger than him. Am I wrong? I can't say. I would say you're not. Thank you. Because a man that's close to 70 years old Kissing the ass of two men who are rough, who are close to 40. Just weird to me. So mm. he decided to write back to me. So I'm, Dave Meltzer now knows who I am. And he wrote the lamest comeback. I literally wanted to do a Jimmy Carr and say, if you want my comeback, you have to scrape it off your mom's teeth. But I decided against it. I'll get to my um, actual um, comeback in a second. But he put one of us comments on the work of someone who they've never actually read. Bullshit. I'll explain why. And they believe pathological liars, which means I believe pretty much everyone. You can read the issue. And here's the thing. He links this. He wants me to read an article about him. Okay. And oh, look, it's under a fucking paywall. Dumb? Mm -mm. I know you don't care about this shit, but you want to know something? I don't care. This is funny okay. to me. Oh, no, I was having a ball because you sent me a couple of these and I was laughing. This was a we and I wrote this was a we comeback. The other pe people that yeah, the people following you had better comebacks. And I have listened to you and I mentioned live audio wrestling, which he used to do a segment on before that went belly up. And I used to read figure um, at 4W online. What changed? When I noticed that you had a tendency not to admit when you were wrong about something. You see, I believe uh, in the same... Money. What? I said you're on the money. Yeah. I was going to say typical journalism. I need to save my last few brain cells from Minxie screen. Shit. Fucking 
Well, true assassins here. You might we might as well see that super cool spooky intro that I fucking made in like fifteen minutes. That's right, true assassin. I made a fucking awesome intro. Sorry about that. But anyways, it's I just, quiet. yeah, I know. It's quiet. Quiet. Well, it, <laughs> did you hear the voices in your head? Yes. Did they tell you to let the flamingos uh, loose? They're saying things that shouldn't be said. But uh, gonna, and I hope they go away, but they won't. They told but, me to go get back to work. They did, but seriously, Dave Meltzer. I'm going to go over all of this on, on Saturday. I'm just going to give a little palate cleanser. He wrote this yesterday, and when it comes to people. Um, going, imagine being told that a five-year-old restaurant was the best restaurant ever in the history of the world, then going there and finding out that it was just a rundown burger joint whose staff couldn't put uh, put the cheese on a Big Mac without dropping it on the floor and bleeding on it. Holy shit. That's AEW. And, mm -hmm. you, and fucking yeah. Dave Meltzer being the fucking loony-ass 70-year-old fucking Alzheimer's patient he is decides to continue with the metaphor. Imagine you went there on a Sunday and saw a packed restaurant and found the best chef from Japan, England, and the U.S. were all cooking their favorite dishes the same night. You go there and said, there's no jump house for kids here. Think of the casuals. So I wrote this. Eh? Dropping the metaphor slightly. I'm going to be real. If I go into a restaurant on, and on the menu is sushi, hamburgers, and spotted dick... I would wonder what crackhead would open a business without a goal in mind. Hiring chefs without a set menu. Seems like a bad business decision. Yep. And you're partially right. I know, but there you... are a lot of there are a lot of restaurants that do change their menu quite frequently and are very sought after, so it just depends. Mm -hmm. Have you ever tried spotted dick though? No. Fuck no, what? <laughs> spotted dick is a real thing. But yeah, I know it is. Anyways, that's a preview for next week. I'm going to be doing Wrestling Low Cows on Saturday with Pidgey. Wednesday, I am looking at the dark, darkest police body camps because I'm on a dark craze lately. Same. You know? You're and so yeah, edgy. I, I bet know. you buy your clothes from Hot Topic and everything. Actually, my wife <laughs> buys her all her clothes from Hot Topic. That's the funny part. <laughs> I did get a couple of Attack on Titan shirts from Hot Topic. It's so. not the same. It's not the same anymore. No, fair enough. Hot Topic is not the same. No, fair it's enough. Not. And I bet you buy all your clothes from Spencer's Gifts. I don't actually. Do you even? Know I do buy a lot of the dick-shaped popsicles there, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, to each his own. I don't. Yeah. I don't judge. I don't judge. So, anyways, I'm just going to say this: um, darker side, the dark, darkest police body cams. You guys can actually put in suggestions in the uh, fucking suggestions in my um, fucking Discord. I can talk. I'll look through them. If it's too gory, I won't use them. But if they're perfectly fine, I will use them. Um, for wrestling low cows we're gonna be looking at ronda rousey hulk hogan and dave Meltzer. good luck with that i will lose every brain cell i have <laughs> especially when it comes to ronda rousey i was gonna say the same thing but well, well you should get into that later yeah. We have spooky things to watch. Yes, yes, but before we go into it, I have to say, Spectre is the time official timekeeper for tonight. If any of you fucking donate ten fucking dollars, and I have to go to the boobage here and have to argue with Madam Hellfire, who has a bigger boobage, Spectre has has to make sure that it's five minutes. I gotta stop watch ready and waiting. Okay, but let's go into our favorite. Um, creator first. The Daily Dose of Internet. Because it is our tradition. A tradition I'm pretty sure Madam Hellfire hates. <laughs> <laughs> but let's con let's go into this. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. This Say hi, Pidgey. Say hi, Spectre. I almost called you Pidgey. What's up? 
<laughs> this game was just well, released I call, Well, I do it all the time. Yeah, I know. I because Pidgey's so much cooler. Time. So much cooler. And Pidgey is pretty cool. Yeah, but his family asked some police officers to pretend that he was getting arrested again. Yeah, oh, that's just mean. That's so fucked up. Oh, that's no. just mean. <laughs> <laughs> That's so mean. That is so mean. Look at him. He's just so yeah, like, no, what the fuck? Fucked up. He's like, oh hell no. Don't nah. do that. Don't do that to people. Be nice to people. Don't yeah, do no, that. don't do that. Don't be mean. Yeah! <laughs> oh, we got a punching bag. This is done. Wow, that was a oh. like a cut. Yep, that's gonna hurt in the morning. You wanna know something? Yep. I'm just gonna say that that spin kick was a whole lot better than anything Ronda Rousey can do. Yeah. Woof. Oh, look, a bork bark. No, don't touch. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. It's like, okay. Psych. He's like, fuck no. Fuck no. <laughs> fuck your rules. <laughs> fuck that shit. This poor kid thought it was the end of the world during the solar eclipse. Okay, I'm just gonna say this. After one of the freaking topics I discussed on fucking Wednesday, I don't want to ever hear about the solar eclipse again. Yeah. No, did. Looks like the fucking <laughs> ring, the eye of yeah. small run. <laughs> no, it looks like the eclipse arc from the Berserk. <laughs> hey, I'm getting ready for the end of days. We're gonna be in Tiny a nuclear cats are war so soon. Cute. Small cats are the best. No, show me your massive cat. This is my cat. Holy shit, that's a big oh, ass pussy. He's Gordo. That is a big it's ass a pussy. Gordo. Yeah. Holy shit. Can I actually say that? That is my... one big gato. That is a big pussy. That girl should be proud of her that's big pussy. Camel toe levels pussy. Yeah, that woman sh should I be proud of her it. pussy. <laughs> this is Henry. Aww. I hear Henry. Aww. Aww. He the end. Oh, look. Elephant. Did this to her baby. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh. See, guys, even elephant mommies spank their kids. Yep. This old dog was excited oh, to try oh, out his oh, new oh, staircase. Oh, 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 I've seen more. this before. Hopefully, it's and... oh. oh, poor doggy. Oh, no. Poor doggy. Oh, no. That is the third thing that made me cry today. Oh. We having Pizza Hut. I'm a yeah, bad Pizza mom. Hut sucks. <laughs> pizza. No, they're not. You, you are a good mom. Aw. That's hey. a nice kid. That is a nice kid. I'm a good mom. This is called the... Aww. Real shit. Oh, shit. Real shit. Hello. Fuck. Hi, Fucked Hello, it up. This is your day. Yep, I wink. fuck up everything. Okay, hang on. We are waiting. I'm not. Keep I'm going. <laughs> I, I'm going. Keep going. I'm going. I'm Gotta going. get deep. You know how deep. Go. Yeah, I go. I ask my wife how deep I get. Ball Anyways. Fuck what? Yeah. What? 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 <laughs> what? The cave of death in Costa Rica. The cave is filled with carbon dioxide. Yeah. Um. This is something you guys gotta be. If you ever go spelunking, realize this shit can happen. Dioxide. So as soon as fire goes inside, it is immediately extinguished. No. Yep. Wow. That means okay. you will fucking suffocate. Yeah. That means yep. you're gonna suffocate if you go in that fucking anywhere near that shit. Yo ass oh. dead. Yep. No, Bill is going under. Oh. Holy shit. That's dodgeball with a freaking duffel bag. Bro, holy shit, bro. <laughs> that poor woman. Oh, puppy dog. <laughs> oh, oh, look at oh. the baby. That, was some very strong. That, 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 that dog's awesome. I'm sorry, that dog's awesome. Yeah, no, that's that reminds me. My, um, my young, my oldest, Coda, we would always, um, get him on my mom's bedroom because he loves to sleep on it. And so when I go to pick him up, he does that jump like that dog did. He jumps as I lift him up. It's hilarious. It's hilariously cute. Wow. I didn't know that lizards had dogs. Did you, Madam Hellfire? <laughs> I, I didn't know either. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, we take care of them. So so how's Hillary Clinton been doing this year's uh, Spectre? Hopefully rotting in hell. Well, you would know. She could Pokemon go fuck herself. Yeah, exactly. In Wyoming a few days ago. 
Okay. Uh -oh. Yeah, that fucking uh -oh. happened. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Uh oh. No. That's not Fast oh, and Furious. No, no, no. Oh. Imagine being behind oh. that. Oh my god, look at the size of that cock. <laughs> Somebody clip hey, that. Hey, yo. Somebody clip that. Hey, yo. <laughs> hey, hey, you want to know something? I have said that already before. It's not surprising. Hey, yo. What? <laughs> what? That is a big fucking cock. Do you have a problem with big cocks? That's what she said. Exactly. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, no, wait. That's not a cock. That's a quail. That's a, what the no, fuck? No, that's like a... Um, that is a big bird. It's baiting you, dance. Yeah. Okay, that's dumb. Okay, spider But awesome at the same time. Fall! Oh. Don't fall. Thank you. That is the end of this video. Hopefully polar this bear. video made your day just Ooh, a little. little polar bear. By the way, polar bears, if there there's a there's a rule. If it's a if it's a black bear, stand your ground because they will run away. If it's a brown bear, play dead. If it's a polar bear, kiss your fucking ass goodbye. You yeah. did. Your your ass is dead. But I figured we'd start with the best horror YouTuber who analyzes horror content. <laughs> Fucking DVD of Phobo bloke just quoted me. Do you got a problem with big cocks? And hello, Love Jojo. It. But um, we're going to start with Scare Theater, who, in my opinion, is one of the best um, horror-related YouTubers out there. He analyzes horrific I horrific stuff. I don't know if you guys ever watched Scare Theaters. Nope. I haven't, no. Um, have you ever watched Nexpo? No. Yeah. Same cadence in his voice. But, gotcha. unlike Nexpo, who goes into artsy-fartsy shit, which I do like Nexpo's artsy-fartsy shit. He's probably also not a furry. Yeah, oh, probably wait. not. I mean, yeah, not all of us can be furries, you know? Mm -hmm. Scare Theater is one of my favorites. I picked one of his shorter videos, and I'm actually I'm going to speed it up a little bit so we can get through it, because Madam Hellfire needs to eat something sooner or later. Yeah. And we'll be here for I five fucking hours. I will die, and I will get cranked. I will get cranky, and then I will die. Yes. <laughs> oh, this is an old video. Okay. I'm sorry, but that is actually one of my fears to be buried alive. Is it Kill Bill? Is this Kill Bill? I don't think it's Kill Bill. No, I don't think so. But it's terif- But think about it. It's can you think of anything more terrifying than being buried alive? The video you were about to watch know, shows the that's... shocking moment a group of citizens in Brazil attempted to yes, rescue a woman but there's who not they believed to have- yeah, yeah, there's not very many things. Drowning is probably one of them. But Fire. Skydiving into a volcano. Well, no, that'll at least be pretty fast. Yeah. Having to sit through a, um, trying to think of having to sit through all the Twilight movies is a scary way of dying. Oh, that God. That is also true. Dumb, dumb ways to die. <laughs> dumb ways to Imagine, die. Imagine, like, you just, like, you just have a heart attack afterwards and keel over. <laughs> Walking up to Boogie when he's naked is probably a horrible way to die. <laughs> How did you give us that image? Because oh, I'm gonna, cause oh, if I'm, I'm going to have fucking draw. nightmares tonight from this shit, you guys do too. I'm going to... That's not fair. Falling victim to it's not cool? That's not poppy? That's not fair. That's not poppy? Not that poggers. Not poppy. Okay, let's continue. Oh shit, wrong thing. To a situation like this is a universal fear. Waking up in a coffin, six feet underground, in a claustrophobic panic. Hey, look, it's Ryan Reynolds. Realizing this is going to be the last thing you ever experience before oh, yeah. you suffocate to death. It's a he scenario we've seen depicted in media that. many times before. There's Kill Bill. Kill Bill. To someone for real is too terrifying to contemplate. But this is exactly what we're witnessing right now. So, how did we get here? But first, I have a quick announcement to make. This video is sponsored he has by pretty Dr. eyes. 75. I'm sorry. And as you guys look at those eyes, they're fucking pretty. Yeah. Don't judge me for finding somebody to have pretty eyes, but I don't care about. I, I wasn't dis. I wasn't disagreeing with you. I'm. I'm just gonna not say anything. Okay. <laughs> you want a scare theater body pillow now, don't you? No. Oh my okay, god. Good. 
I'm skipping the ad because they're not freaking sponsoring me. Mm -hmm. The woman in the coffin that's about to be opened is 37-year-old Rosangela Almeida. She's been struggling with a lifelong condition that causes fainting spells and has been on medication for this since she was 7 years old. In 2018, Ooh, her condition started getting worse as she began to experience severe fatigue among other complications. Her family had her admitted to the hospital to get her checked out, where she stayed for a week. At the end of her stay in the hospital, she suffered from septic shock and few heart attacks before losing all vital signs. Oh, Oof. that is oh. fucking bad. Oh no. That is fucking scary. Hello, Censored. How are you? Are you ready to... And hello, Robert. How are you? Hopefully you guys are ready for the spooky, scary stuff. And I'm not talking about showing um, Nox's bazingas. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. You want to know something? If you, get, I'll do this. If you guys actually donate two dollars, Spectre has to sing "Um, a whole new world." How's that? Oh no! No! You'll get no! 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 Real no! Fast. You'll get DMCA, I'm joking. DMCA. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> she was declared deceased that day, and the following day, she was laid to rest in a concrete tomb at a cemetery in her hometown of Riachal das Neves. Concrete. It was a depressing time. Yeah. Yep. There's. There's some cultures that do that, and there's specific reasons for it. Because they believe they'll come back. Okay, fair enough. As some sort of, like, undead fair. being, like vampires. Like a spirit, fair enough. Okay. But at the same time, there are some that believe that do that because of grave robbing is very prevalent in the area. That too. Yeah, that's also fucked, yeah. But just 11 days later, the mood quickly shifted from depressing to horrifying. Residents who lived on the street near the cemetery claimed they heard weird noises coming from the cemetery. As they moved to investigate, what they were hearing became a lot more clear. It was the sound of screaming and banging coming from inside the tomb. One witness claims, When I got there, right in front of the tomb, I heard banging from inside it. I'm just going to say this really quickly, if I may. There is, in Victorian times, they used to bury people with a string that goes down into the tomb with a bell at the other end so that if they were buried alive, they can go like this and basically ring a bell to try to signal that they are actually alive. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Hey, oh, Spec. It begins. Spec. You gotta sing a song. I sing. don't care what you sing. Ah, uh, son of a bitch. Okay, uh... Oh, God. Sing my here. angel of music! Oh, my God. <laughs> um... Uh, fuck. Um, I gotta find one that doesn't copy, isn't copywritten. Oh, Hang just on. spooky, scary skeletons. I just sang it earlier. Yeah, oh, just sure. do Okay, then we'll do that. We'll just do that. Uh, I'll do the li Yeah, that's fine. Spooky, Stop stalling. scary skeletons that shivers down your spine. Shrieking souls will shock your soul and seal your doom tonight. Blip, blip. There you go. And guess what? Now you got to give five, now five minutes on the clock because I have yep, to. Yep, I'm about to. Out. Yep, I got it. So, uh, who's got bigger boobs? Probably you. No. We, they're both drawn by the same fucking person. That's the funny part. Thank That's you. That's even funnier, yeah. Nope. Sing Spick. Sing. What does Spectre have to sing for $10? Spectre has to sing Baby Got Back. Actually, no. I think mine are bigger. You have to Thank push you. yours up. Yeah. Yeah. What does Spectre have to sing for That's 10? That's cheating. But you, you have five minutes on the clock? Yep. Good. I thought the kids who play around the cemetery were playing a joke on me. Then I heard her groan twice. And after those two groans, she stopped. Clearly, That's the scary. implication of this was terrifying. When Rosangela's family was notified about all this, all that was growing through their heads was the image of their daughter waking up inside of a coffin, screaming and fighting to get out to no avail for multiple days. Like, By the way, here's the fun thing. Nox is claustrophobic. I am not joking. I oh, am joy. claustrophobic. I MRIs have to... are a fucking joy. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, this is actually because I talk about it a lot when I can't remember my childhood. There's only one thing I can actually remember. And that is my brother getting mad at me, throwing me in a closet, locking the door and shutting off the light. Oh, oh yeah. I was six years old. Mm mm. Oh, fuck that. So, yeah, I'm just terrified of freaking tight spaces because of that. Any family would do in this Makes situation, sense. they immediately made their way to the cemetery to try and free her. That's where this video begins. Hopefully she's alive. I don't know about that. She's in there for, like, multiple oh, days. By the way, I want to give then a huge thank you to dead. everyone who helped me translate this from Portuguese. I made a post on Twitter asking for help with translations, and you guys... See, now this is how you do videos. You don't know Amen. something, don't pretend you know it.
Yep. I really came in clutch. When they opened the coffin, they found that they were too late, and Rosangela had already passed. After the coffin was opened, the ambulance were called, and Rosangela was rushed to the hospital, where they confirmed that she was dead and then buried again the following day. But Rosangela's mother was not satisfied. She felt that even though they were too late, her daughter was indeed buried alive, and the medical practitioners who incorrectly declared her dead needed to be held responsible. Her reason for believing her daughter was buried alive was because she claimed that there were injuries to her wrists and forehead that weren't there at the time she was buried, her body was in a different position from how she was buried, pieces of cotton that had been stuffed in her ears and nostrils were found outside of her body, and the nails in the lid of the coffin were loose. In addition, some of yep. the people in the video were saying yeah. that her body was still warm, implying that she had not been dead for long. As you might expect, this case really blew up in Brazil, and the story even... Who knew that um, it's not only the United States where they have bad fucking um, medical practices? No shit, right? Never surprising. Never nope. surprising, but it is Brazil, which you get fucking mugged in Brazil very fast. Uh -huh. became somewhat popular in this. Mm -hmm. So they teach you if you go to Brazil to have like two cell phones and um, two wallets, I think it was. Just in case. Mm. States, with the original YouTube video showing these events gaining over 1.5 million views. But there are some things here that just don't quite seem to add up. The most unbelievable part of the story is that she was buried for 11 days and seemed to have survived yeah, no. up to the 11th day. If you're skeptical yeah, no, of this, she's definitely you should dead. I'm very skeptical. Usually if you're buried in a coffin, you're going to lose all of your oxygen and suffocate within a couple of hours. Yeah. And even if somehow air was able to make its way into the coffin, there's no way she would have survived any more than three, maybe four days without water. It just wouldn't have yep. happened. A lot of the story is sketchy, and it's difficult to find many in-depth reports of this. One source claims that a police investigation was done on this, and they concluded that the reports from people claiming they heard groaning coming from the coffin may have just been rumors. If all we To me, it probably was they heard something and they thought it was her, but it turned out that she's been dead. she was dead the whole entire time. Who knows? Yeah. 11 days is just a fuck. That's just fucking sketchy. That's not happening. Life. Yeah, you're you, definitely you dead at that you point. You can't live without food and water that long. It's been, or oxygen. That's not happening. Yeah, yeah, even if you drink your own fucking urine somehow, you're not going to fucking you, live yeah, that long. You're done. <clears throat> hey. Spec just made the mm. throw up noise. I have <laughs> to say, that is a survival technique as a last it resort. Is. Fair enough. Okay, fair enough. What we have to go off of is what people think they heard, or what they heard through the grapevine, then there's bound to be a I lot of- I heard it through the grapevine. Bad. Sorry, I had to. Flaws with the story. You got 20 seconds. The only seconds. real objective means we have to seconds? look at this is the video. Yeah. And honestly, it doesn't support the story all that well. I'm pretty sure I can't show this on YouTube, but this frame here shows the inside of the coffin after they opened it. And this looks nothing like what we heard in the story. The body does not look fresh. Well, you can't see in fact, shit. it looks so. pretty rotten. Yeah, no. And it's laying yeah. on its back, not some other strange position like the mother claimed. There's no blood up. and everything. Okay, one second, guys. I have to switch back to my normal outlaw -y self. Sorry, censored. The, these dems are the rules to stop people from. Wait, wrong one. To stop people from spamming the freaking thing. Thing seems very mm -hmm. normal. And although people in the video are saying the body isn't cold, there is also one other observation that they made about the body. This kind of sounds like you remember when we did that um, video on vampires and werewolves, the vampire craze and like Romanian stuff. Mm -hmm. Where people think, "Oh my God, it's a live body," when it's actually fucking dead. Yeah. This kind of reminds yeah. me of that. Well, apparently she st her bo corpse stunk. So uh, either she really shat herself, which apparently you will do at some point when you're dead, or mm -hmm. she's been dead and she's st starting to decompose pretty, I mean, pretty quickly. Yeah. 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 Not only that, but I highly doubt that they actually embalmed her. Probably not. Because if they embalmed right. her. They wouldn't have thought she was a fucking alive because you're literally yeah. removing all the fucking fluids out of the fucking body. Yep. Yeah, I, I oh, know yeah, how yeah. that shit smells. When I was in a forensics class, we had to deal like with rotting like organs, like livers, mm -hmm. to see like how insects grow and kind of use that to determine time of death kind of stuff. Yeah. And holy hell, you need Vicks bad under your under your nose and you need to stick cotton up there because holy crap that stench death hi devastator welcome i'm gl i guess minxie just ended and she either raided me or people are just going to be flooding in but welcome devastator. Be in, i think 
Yeah, I think people are flooding in. Well, in honor of Minxie's return, we have to play this. No, don't. No, Slippy, I just want to touch We all miss Minxie. <laughs> Hell yes. We all missed Minxie. I'm glad that she had a nice vacation. Yeah. The smell. They remark on how bad it smells. Kind of like you'd expect rotting flesh to smell. There's a lot of American websites reporting on this, but I wanted to see a little closer to the event itself. What's going go. on? It stops for a second. I was like, what happened? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Yeah, you're good. Weird. Okay. I'm hoping my internet is fucking not acting up, because then I'd have to call Spectrum and go, why do you fucking suck? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just Discord. Yeah, it's probably Discord. Elf. So I found a Brazilian news site, G1 Globo, that reported on this. It reports that during the investigation, the police interviewed several witnesses, including a professional from the funeral home, and they said that Rosangela's body was in the same condition as when it was buried, refuting the mother's claim. One of the funeral directors also said that Sounds before like burial, somebody who just she had a liter of formaldehyde applied to her body, yep. which would have made it even oh, less. Yeah. If there was a, le a liter of formaldehyde, yeah, she was embalmed. There's no way she's fucking oh, yeah. alive. Yeah, she's no. dead. She's deader than dead. Probably yep. flooded in. I mean, yeah, I know Minxie and me share the same audience. I'm, I, and I'm happy that, about that because Minxie's an awesome person. Yeah, That's likely she that she is. would have survived after being buried. They even interviewed the hospital where Rosangela was before she was declared dead. One of the doctors said that when she arrived, she already had a serious and irreversible condition. And in addition, she was monitored so intensely that it would have been virtually impossible for them to make a mistake like this. At the end of the investigation, it was concluded that Rosangela was in fact not buried alive. Thank God. What actually happened was people started rumors about hearing noises, word spread to the family, and in a panic, they went to dig up the body in a futile attempt to save their daughter. One unfortunate consequence of this, however, meant that the people involved in opening the coffin could possibly be charged with disturbing a grave, which would carry up to three years in prison. But although this- That is fucking Ooh, hefty. Wow. Well, it makes sense. Yep. I'm just gonna it does. say that- I'm just gonna say this really quickly. It's like it's like I was just saying earlier that it just kind of seems like a hoax, a boy who cried wolf situation, and the family just kind of latched onto it for attention. There you go. That's all it was. That's really all it was, yeah. But it just shows that um, the horror of being buried alive it rarely happens nowadays. It does happen nowadays, but it's very fucking mm -hmm. rare. There has been cases of it, but yeah, it's extremely rare. I think the last case was sometime like six years ago, but I don't quote me on that. I think so. I'll have to check. That's what you're here for. You are basically the che you're basically the fact checker, while me and Madam Hellfire argue on who if boobies are awesome. I don't know. Particular story. I don't think we need to argue exactly about that. Like I was like, yeah, that's that not much not of a debate. Things like this haven't happened for real before. In the 17th and 18th centuries, before technology yeah. was as advanced as it is today, it wasn't too uncommon for people to be mistakenly pronounced dead and buried alive. One particularly yep. haunting case is that of Alice Blunden, a British woman who found herself in this situation. Okay, I'm just gonna say this is this one I know of, and it's disturbing. So hold on to your mm -hmm. butts. In the oh, year 1674, God. she was drinking poppy-infused water to get buzzed, and then Alice Blunden made the blunder of drinking a little too much. She fell into a deep coma, and when she was discovered, it was assumed that she had overdosed and died. She was quickly given yep. a funeral and buried underground, when two days later, children who were playing in the graveyard heard screaming coming from underground. They went to get help, but it took another day before someone actually came to dig her up, since everyone assumed the kids were just making up stories. When the grave was exhumed, Alice was found with bruises and blood all over her from trying to escape for days. At this point, they assumed she truly was dead and put her back into the grave, but they kept a guard there overnight just to make sure she didn't get back up again. That night, it started to rain, and the guard decided to leave the cemetery and just go off to the pub. I mean, what are the odds that she was still alive, right? Well, apparently the odds weren't that- You see where this is going? Yep. Yes. Who she else- She passed out, probably, from exhaustion. Then woke up again. Yikes. Yeah. Pigeon salad is a silly burb. Pidgey's here? He's the silliest burb. Extremely silly. I don't know. If silly Pidgey's... Billy. Pidgey's here, that's awesome. Welcome, Pidgey, if you're here. I don't think he is. Not low. But... When they uncovered the grave the following morning, they found that she had woken up a second time and tore her face and hands to shreds trying to escape. This time, she truly was dead. Yeah. Holy, Holy fuck. Holy shit. Check for a fucking pulse next time. Well, Holy. this was back in the 1600s. They didn't even know what a fucking pulse was. Their way of checking people was to lean down and see if they were fucking breathing. I so mean, yeah. you can still probably feel it. Yeah. Think about how, think about this, if, if I, 
if horrifying I right, way to cas- die. Yeah, if I remember right, the casket was covered in fucking nail marks from her trying to get yep. out of it. Stories like this made okay. the fear of being buried alive so intense that people actually invented something called a safety coffin. Yep. The way it worked was that when someone was buried, they would tie a string to their wrist that connected to a bell above ground. So if someone found themselves is, in a situation where they were buried alive, this was used. they would start to panic, and their movements would cause the bell above ground to start ringing, which would alert people that they needed to be dug up. A lot of people will tell you that this is where the phrase, Saved by the Bell, originated, but that's actually not where it came from. No, it was from Zach Morris and um, Kelly Kapask. Oh, f- I'm making a joke that nobody will understand. <sighs> Hello, Natalie. Welcome. Hello. And Red Chaos. And Red, well, Red Chaos is, was here before. Oh, yeah, Red, I, I I was waiting for Red to come in. I did a couple of polls because I do need help on um, Wednesday streams because if y'all are going to continue to donate and I have to continue to change to the boobage and the um, cake... I need somebody to keep time. So, Red volunteered. I freaking did polls. It was, I don't think everybody freaking voted, but Red's going to be on Wednesdays at 5.30. So, congratulations, Thanks. Red. You're a co-host now. Woohoo. So, anyways. Seriously, Google it. Nowadays, with advanced medical technology, it's virtually impossible for someone to be mistakenly declared dead and buried alive, so it's really nothing to be worried about. The only time this really does happen in modern times is when it is done on purpose. In fact, there are a couple of awful cases of people burying alive their unwanted children in China. Yeah. In 2015, that a couple in southern China, China decided to abandon their newborn baby boy because he was born with a cleft lip. They chose to abandon him in one of the most- That's the problem with China. Their culture- mm. I have nothing against their culture. And hello, Annika. But their culture, if at one point when they had that single um, child rule in effect, mm-hmm. people would kill um, newborn females because they wanted boys. Yep. Okay. Also, I found um, <clears throat> the last case of when somebody was buried alive. Uh says here, last said it was August 23rd of 2020. It was um, in Southfield, Michigan. Tamisha Bo- Bochamp. Uh, they found her responsive at home. Upon arrival, paradem- par- paramedics found her to be unresponsive and not breathing, so they provided cardiopulmonary resuscitation for 30 minutes, and she was pronounced dead. And that um, resuscitation efforts were discontinued, and Bochamp was taken to a funeral home. She was taken... Yeah, pretty much that. That's the last thing I was able to find, so... Yeah, damn. But anyways, yeah, we're going to move on. Yeah, back in 2020. Because... Next. Like, here's the next <coughs> one. Next one is a short horror film. I have not watched it. I wanted to watch it with y'all. Short okay. horror films on YouTube are really fucking good, nine times out of ten. But here's the thing. Also, I have to say that um, either I'll decide. It depends on when we get done tonight. If we get done tonight at a decent time, I'm going to do a watch along of Late Night with the Devil. If we don't get it done at a decent time, I am going to wait until Sunday to do it. Okay? Noted. I'll let you guys know at the end of the stream. Ooh, spooky music. Spook. Super spook. I'm already peeing my pants. <laughs> Gross. This guy's. Wow, they put a lot of... They put a lot of effort into this. Nine times out of ten, they do. Okay, I don't know any person that actually has that white of sheets. White's iffy. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone else think that this is going to be weird? Jason. Very. Extremely. Jason. I'm just going to say this. If my wife actually did this to me and shook me and stuff, I'd be like, bitch, I'm trying to sleep. What? Go find out your fucking self. <laughs> I love my wife, just so you guys know. I know. We know. But yeah. It's an interesting room. Me, I just grab the handgun and go check. Exactly. You'd be like, clack, clack, motherfucker. Exactly. I get the machete just in case. 
At least the um, visuals are really, really good so far. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice camera setup. Ooh. Oh shit. It's always the of attic. Of course. It's always the fucking. Ugh. Yep. God it's either the basement. The calls the are coming attic. from inside the house. How do you know? Did you check on the children? Yes, I've always. <laughs> I've been watching horror stuff. I'm not scared. Famous last words. Yeah, Natalie, I am the same fucking way. I don't normally watch exactly. horror because... Eh. I like supernatural horror, but that's pretty much about it. Oh, yeah. So let's go it's up like, and... hello. Oh, yeah, that's fuck really no. fucking smart. Oh, fuck no. You got a flashlight? No flashlight. You best have a flashlight. No firearm. Stupid Wearing bitch. very... Wearing slippers. Oh, there you go. Oh, thank she has a God. At least. Oh, thank you. The okay. shitty one, but she has one. Yeah. Yeah. This woman is not Jamie Lee Curtis. No. <laughs> she is not the final girl. No. That's Climbing the stairs cool. in slippers? That's questionable. Yeah, you're asking. Not only that, for but it. those freaking stairs kind of look like they can't hold her weight. Barely. Probably not, yeah. Oh, look at all that asbestos. Oh, that's just fucking what creepy. Oh, fuck? hello. That's just fucking weird. <laughs> that's Jim Henson looking shit. Oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> fucking Spectre just shit his pants. Holy shit. I mean, that's a nice dollhouse, though. Yeah. I would, I, I would, I would get that dollhouse for my daughter. I wonder what's gonna happen next. Oh, look, it's Slender Man. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I hate everything. <laughs> you can never escape him. <laughs> Just like I could never escape the satanic panic. Never. Yeah. Never. Okay. Oh, look. I have those same types of totes. Pause. Do we want to make predictions on what the fuck is up here? It is... I say a skinwalker. I'm going to say a mimic. I am saying Harmon Smith. Oh, God. <laughs> Kill it with fire, then. <laughs> Nuke it from orbit. Yes. Oh, that's just disturbing. You have a light right there. Why don't you... Yes, turn it on. Probably this the is... smartest idea. Thank you, God. Uh-oh. Oh, Let me moved. guess, something moved. Pascadio. I don't think it was Slender Man. Oh, it's this guy. Fuck you for that. That is a small cock. I'm going to say that this <laughs> is a distraction. Yes. And she's going to turn around and something's going to pop out. Yeah. Hopefully not a jump scare because I can't handle jump scares with my heart. Uh, You're watching horror content. Yeah, I know. I'll be Kinda fine. Comes with the territory. Yeah. I'll be fine. You know, if that Where's thing the starts... Are you sure about that clip? Exactly. I'll Fuck you for fine. that, true assassin. What did fucking true assassin say? Harvin Smith, Smith naked. naked. Oh god, we don't need that kind of uh, hatred. No, why would you Please do no. that? Oh. <laughs> what? It's gross. The idea of Harmon naked. Why would you do that? <laughs> Not even his imaginary girlfriend wants to see that. Nope. Not even his Princess Peach Dakimakuro wants that. No. Not even his mom wants to see that. that is... Why are you staring at the cock so much? The cheap. Oh, shit. Yep, there it is. It's Slender Man. Scarecrow. Okay, yeah, I I'll think call it's... it a Scarecrow. Yeah, it's probably a well, Scarecrow, yeah. It's creepy. Probably want to get out of there. <laughs> Oh, wow. Now the scarecrow is gone. And it's gone, yeah. Ooh, spooky. Poof. Okay. I would get the fuck out of Dodge. Yes. Get the hell out of there while you still can, yeah. This is not that bad, though. I actually do like the um, visuals. I like the cinematography. The stairs? Why is the light now off in there? Went down the stairs. 
Well, that's a fuck right now, isn't there. it? Hi. Oh. They're coming to get you, Barbara. At least it doesn't have an axe. <laughs> and he's gone. Of course he is. Behind her. Of course, it, it's a fucking horror movie. Ooh. <sighs> Are you going to be okay, Spectre? Yeah, I'm good. I just, I love watching this kind of stuff. Are you hugging a teddy bear right now? And no, actually, banky? I'm actually just having I'm having a blast. Up oh, feet, you know what that means? You also got a five dollar dono. Oh shit! Yeah. Cool. Oh, uh, here, let me. Uh, Hold on a second. I gotta timer. do this. I gotta do some shenanigans here. There we go. All the right, furry is back. Up. The furry is back. Come on. Don't be scared. He just wants to tickle you. He just wants a hug. He wants a kiss. Give him a kiss. Give him a kiss. At least it's not a face hugger. It's true. Thank God. This woman literally would be really good at fucking nothing because of how she's holding that paddle with one hand. Thank you. Yep. I got a less. Oh, that ain't gonna do session. shit. Harm Especially if, yeah, going if you're holding it with one hand, good pillow. fucking luck. I'll see myself out now. I'll top true assassin Harmon Smith naked going at it with his peach. Thank you, Quiet Try, for the fucking nightmares. I fucking. That's scarier than anything in this. Yes. Oh, fuck. Hey, look, it's Freddy Krueger. He's wearing a Freddy shirt. I'm sorry. He is. Kind of. I think it's actually checkered. Probably. Welcome to prime time, bitch. Sorry, I had to. Why are you going towards it? And one thing. The way you're gripping up on that fucking paddle does not give you a lot of fucking reach to keep the thing away from you. Not only oh. that, but you have it with one hand. One hand is not going to be anywhere near as effective as two hands. Yep. Well, well it's at least not he that. hit it. She hit it. She bopped it. Hell, it's covered in hay. I think she let it. She she let the mimic out. She let the mimic out. She let it out. And now it's going to eat her soul. No, Mister Bond. Now you're going to die. Wahahaha. In there. Okay. I see feet. Welcome oh, to the family, oh. son. Welcome to prime time, bitch. How'd you guess mimic? Because I'm... It's, it's disguise. Go, come on. That's the name of it, yeah. Yeah. Oh, we got feet. Oh, Spec, we got feet. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's her evil twin. Look at feet. And some ugly toes. Yes, they are, but you want to know something? Why are right you now? waiting? Because Finish her. Kill her. Your life was mine. I took it from you. Oh, is this a twist? Wait, what? I'm taking it back. Is this a twist? What's a twist? That that's Wait. not the mimic. The other one's the mimic. Interesting. That's fucking awesome if yeah. that's the case. Oh, that's actually, if that's the case, I like that twist, Back. actually. No, it's not. Us did it first. What? That was a terrible fucking hit. Yeah, Us did it first. 
Die, bitch, die! Oh shit. We're gonna stay for staying now. Oh, that's just fun. Oh, 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 oh. Hello. holy fuck. Hey. <laughs> Imagine oh, if you, we cool. were all fucking on LSD when we got to that one fucking part. That's creepy as Ripping fuck. Balls, I like bro. That. That's creepy. Yeah. By the way, imagine if you were sleeping and you woke up to that. I'd. I'd. Ah. Uh, I. I. Done. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> I just accept death. I would just be like, "What the fuck did I? How much the fuck did I drink last night?" Exactly. Kill it! Kill it! With fire! That's what time's up. Run, Forrest! Did you say, by the way, did you say something? I said time's up. Time's up? Okay. Back to Knox being outlaw. Don't show Minxie, lol. Exactly, oh. yeah, no, she'll shit herself. I'm not mean to Minxie. I wouldn't make her watch horror movie content. Better You're not sure. No, but you guys would gang up Dead on her Space. and make her play Dead Space, yeah. I did not. I shoot. Said, that I, was Shu's fault. <laughs> I literally told her that it's a bad idea. Same. Oh, is he, it's gone. Yeah, I think that it probably turned into her husband. Oh, that's even fucking creepier. What? I took cinematography. I know. And plus, in a horror movie, just because the ending shows, like, relief and stuff doesn't mean the horror movie is ended. Yeah. The horror is just beginning. Wow. That was okay. I. I that was it. actually really good. That was good. really cool. I actually that liked was it. That was I. Us did it first. Yes, but still. Except... Oh, well, yeah, I'll good, yeah, good yeah, horror I YouTuber that. now. Um, good horror YouTubes too. We can ha we have another short horror film. Noted. So, time for the obvious. How many people crap their pants? I five didn't. disturbing videos caught by campers in the woods. Number five. Oh, Lord. Number five. We need Pidgey in here to do that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we do. But, but um, Mr. Nightmare is better. I Mr. love Mr. Nightmare. Uh, I like the second person I, that I have. These are, we're doing up to the last two videos. We're just going to take a couple of minutes. I want to make sure everybody is okay. Make sure everyone has soil, have not soiled their underbritches. Okay. Because that's the thing about horror. Some people like some things. Some people won't. I prefer supernatural horror. A lot of people like slashers. It's all good. But we're going to look at, we're going to end tonight's stream with two different videos. We have first Mr. Nightmare with five disturbing videos caught by campers in the woods. And no, there is no Burger King foot lettuce. Burger King foot lettuce. Number 15. Burger King foot lettuce. Number five. Nice. Specter sucks at this. I do. I'm not that great. So we are going to start with Mr. Nightmare. Xylophobia is the fear of the woods or forests. A large... I don't have that. I live near the fo nope. I've lived near forests all my life. I will walk out in the middle of the woods in the middle of the night and not care. Right. Hear a noise and be like, oh, look, there's probably a wolf or coyote over there. A chunk of the population oh, exhibits at least a partial form of this phobia. And the reason for that isn't so surprising. Being out in the middle of the forest at night naturally can bring out an innate fear we have programmed into us that's meant to keep us alive. That yeah. fear can stem from the darkness of the woods itself, or rather what may yep. be hiding in the darkness, be it wild yep. animals, or sometimes even worse, other humans. These are some... Yeah, when it comes to the woods in nighttime, the most dangerous thing you can run into is another person. Pretty much. Indeed. Is caught on video or Bigfoot. Realizing they... Yeah. Or Skunk Ape. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Or the Wazzle Bug. Same thing. Also, Bug is the Jersey Devil. Same thing. You're just going to continue <laughs> to say same thing, aren't you? Same thing. <laughs> Madam Hellfire is broken. We need to reset the Madam Hellfire. 
Hellfire.exe has failed. Yes. Yep. <laughs> Starting with this video, we see a group of friends out in the middle of the woods on a camp. Oh, this is an old classic. I know what this time. one is. The group started hearing strange noises in the not so far distance. No it was filmed on a potato. Can we all oh, agree on that? Oh, that yep. This is that started with loud bangs and then turned into something more disturbing. When the sounds kept happening, one of the men decided to start recording, and this was the video he captured. That's a nice truck, though. Hear it? Get Trevor. Austin, what would you do if you heard banging in the middle of the woods at night? Uh, get my gun. Yep. Spectre, do you even have a gun, or do you have a Nerf gun? I actually, the closest I have is a BB gun, but I do have, some, like, a machete and a couple, like, a knife in my house. I have a hunting bow. Does that count as a lethal weapon? Yeah. It can. Okay. I'm getting a crossbow sooner or later. Nice. That is just somebody fucking with Ooh, you. Fuck. Hey! I think it's Bigfoot. Yeah. Definitely. Bigfoot wants your butthole. He's gonna get your booty hoe. I have to do the redneck thing. Now that is the sound of a Bigfoot mating call. Peter Kane disliked that. <coughs> Who? Yeah, uh, it's a Pidgey would get it. <laughs> okay. The night, the scream, and the big blue truck. Damn it. Everybody get in my truck. Everybody get my truck. Get in my you truck. Get in the truck. Love that. We're followed by strange animalistic grunts and calls. There is definitely a human element to the vocals, but the sheer volume and power behind the vocals, especially taking into consideration how significant the audio can become in the recording so process, is what creates Fuck. the question of whether these vocalizations were actually made by humans or not. That just sounds like sounds a marine. Also appear to be coming from more it sounds like yeah. somebody call, trying to find Bigfoot. That's the same sounds that they make. Yeah, but to yeah. me, I keep hearing hoorah. So I'm like, is there a marine in the middle of the fucking woods? Right. <laughs> Nothing against marines. I'm sure that they're lovely people. Source, as one call sounds much closer than the other. They're coming to get you, Barbara. They're coming Things for your booty hole. They're going to get There's you, Barbara. A lot of behind whatever the bangs are, and if the bangs were to be coming from a tree yeah, being man. hit with something by a human, the quick speed of the bangs would be shocking to say the least. Uh, I can, I can mimic that. Hey, a yo. kind of drumming sound. What? But that only opens the door. Nothing. Anybody, anybody else want to bang on some wood? Hey, yo. What the okay. fuck? <laughs> more questions, such as who and why would anyone be banging on drums in the middle of the woods at night? Hippies! I mean, some people have a kink like that. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna say this. If I hear somebody playing bongos in the middle of the woods, I'd be like, damn, there's a fucking drum circle in the middle of the fucking woods oh, going shit, on Oh right shit, does now. somebody have Donkey Kong going? I'd be, like, I'd be like, oh shit, somebody's got that good kush going now. <laughs> no, seriously. I, as somebody who lives near the woods, who's lived near woods all their life, if I hear drums in the middle of the fucking woods, I'm not thinking somebody that's going to hurt me. I'm thinking hippies. Whatever mm. the sounds were, the group of friends made the right call getting back in the truck and getting out of there as quickly as possible. Come on, I would have gone. Similarly, in this next video, another YouTuber is sitting by his, oh, campfire, that's a beautiful at his lake. campsite at the Ferry Lake, Quebec, yeah. at some unknown oh, hour Quebec. Night. When he hears sounds out in the distance. Kevin Owens is from Quebec. So is Quebec. Wow. Uh, 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 the man walks through the pitch. I think you've offended like seven French people. <laughs> 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 Black Woods with the only light being from his flashlight. Yes. D d what other thing? Don't stay near a fire. Because if it's an animal, it's not going to go near the fire. Nope. Unless it's a koi dog. Let's see how this place looks like without any lights. Oh, that's really smart. Pitch yeah, totally. yeah. Imagine being out now. There. Now click it on, so and all of a sudden you just see somebody standing there asking you about your freaking car's I'm warranty. Spending the night here. I'm not sure if you guys click. have natural selection. Click. What? Have you heard about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? Hi, welcome to Chili's. That was bad. 
Yeah, that was that was really that bad. Was, that was bad. I'm, I'm offended by that. I was bad. You get, you get, you need to get bonked for that. That that was the not funny. I don't have stick. the I don't have I don't a bonk sound effect. <laughs> I need to get one. Yep. But by the way, I have to ask this, um, Specter. Do you know what a koi dog is? No. A koi dog is a mix of a coyote and a dog. They have no fear of fires. They will actually just walk straight up to a fucking fire and take the food and run. Oh. They give okay. no fucks. Yeah. Nice. Which is funny because because coyotes are the complete fucking opposite. Coyotes, everybody's like, oh, coyotes can hurt you. No, they can't. They they see you way before you see them. The reason why there's probably a coyote outside my house right now, and I will never fucking see it. There's probably a coyote behind outside your guys' house, and you'll never fucking see it, even if you're in a city. Yep. Sick, but damn, this is just giving me Blair Witch Project vibes. Then maybe you should Moments leave. After stating how familiar this environment is to the Blair oh, Witch. Oh, you sound like chills there. This happens. Yeah, he did. It was fucking bit, awesome. Yeah. Let's see. What are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? Is somebody praising Satan? Wait. Oh, I've one? seen this one. Look, oh, go hi. back. She says, I see you. Something says, I see you. Well, why don't you shut up so I can hear it, man? Oh, oh that's just fucking yep. creepy. Yep, I saw this one back on a YouTube short. It's fucking terrifying. <clears throat> ah, get the fuck out of Dodge. Go, yeah, go, that get is a, out. That is definitely Something a fuck the shit I'm out. Weary. Something is wearing somebody else's skin and coming to get you. And you're fucked. Nox, I've seen some people keep coyotes pets. Yeah, they can be actually pets, but I wouldn't own one. I I would not even no. own a wolf. No. I, I, I technically oh, do fuck. own one. You own a wolf? I know. You told me. She, she baby. Oh, no. hi. What the hell? I, I see you. I... That is just fucking creepy. A high-pitched voice calls out from the darkness of the woods. I see you. It sounds like... I, uh, okay, I have to say Oof. this. I have to say this. Madam Hellfire, that actually sounds kind of like you, how you would say it. Does it? Yeah, listen mm. again. It's it's a different tone of voice, but it's the cadence is similar. The woods, I see you. Listen. You... Have said it like that before, where it's, I see you. Ah. Uh, Fair enough. It sounds like Fair it could enough. have been a child. The man behind the camera acknowledges the possibility that it could have been another camper. However, he could also have mentions that he'd been in these woods many times and had never seen anyone else in them. Furthermore, if it was another camper, it would be an incredibly creepy thing to call out to someone else in the woods. Knowing the Not really, because if you're just a prankster who just wants to scare somebody... Oh, look, what's on here? Slapped ham. <laughs> kind of fear nice. it would likely instill in anybody. The man made it back to his campsite afterwards and didn't hear the voice ever again. <laughs> Not even a fox. Cora wants Another a raccoon. I want a fox. Car cool. Usually done in a truck, van, or larger vehicle. Car camping can provide an added sense of security over a tent for a multitude of reasons. I still wouldn't video, camp in my car. I have too much to small Noah car. Took his truck out to Sun River, Oregon, yeah. where he found a deserted road alongside the woods. Mm -hmm. Or a pickup truck with a bad back with a down um, road and park it there bed, yeah. where he would sleep. He thought this would be a perfect place yeah. to camp out since no one else would be around. Yeah. That he was a mistake. I'm just gonna say that this doesn't this kind of look like a road that you would find like pot um, being grown in the woods? Most Probably. Likely. Yeah. I'm shaking Full 20 so hard. my it. sister walked in and she oh. said, are you okay? And I, the phone is vibrating. I'm, I'm sorry, Natalie. Aww. <laughs> Poor Natalie. Again, at some point in the night, Noah was awoken to sounds outside of his truck, which was when he oh, started this recording fuck. on his GoPro. I've, I've seen this one. Sleeping in the back of my truck right now. I don't even know what time it is. I wonder what kind of truck so he has. What's that clicking noise? It's pretty loud. He's been walking. Do you hear that? For like Yeah. 20 minutes already. Is he being is he being hunted by the predator? Probably. I was going to make that joke. Yep. My guns are my cap. I don't really know. Why would you keep your gun away from where you're sleeping? It's like pitch black outside. Probably like 2 in the morning. And he just keeps walking around. And he's like 
never been this scared. And like, this doesn't make any sense because I parked somewhere where you couldn't see. No one was on the road. You'd think that if there's somebody walking behind his truck, they would hear him whisper. Oh, never mind. Probably did. Holy shit. And yes, happy 420 day. 420 blaze it. Hell yeah. I have quit doing blazing, but enjoy, guys. He wants to know about your car's extended warranty. He wants to tell you about Jesus Christ. Yeah. Our Lord and Savior. Or the Almighty Jimmy. Um, if he can, he probably can hear you whispering, dude. Mm-hmm. I'm so scared right now. I should have brought my gun back here. You should have. Always keep it next to you when you sleep. Yes. Yep. Like, how is he not have noticed? Fucking Dylan just clipped me saying, oh my God, look at the size of that cock. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <sighs> what am I going to do with all of you? I've never been this scared. Why is oh, yeah, shine a bright light? He definitely knows definitely you're fucking there now. Position. Yeah, don't, yeah, shine a bright light. Nobody's ever going to notice. Throughout the video, someone can be heard rubbing their fingers against the glass of the truck. And then at multiple points. <laughs> That's just creepy. Rubbing the finger across the truck? What the uh... fuck? Aggies. And yes, thank you, Dylan, for making sure everybody knows I'm like, oh my god, look at the size of that cock. Not the first time I've said it. There's a tapping on the glass, too. The video then cuts to the next day. Oh, he's got a Toyota Tundra. Exactly what the person outside of his truck was doing. He needs to get it washed. Marks all along the back windshield, which suggests the person was trying to wipe away the dirt on the glass to get a look inside the truck. So Noah wasn't as alone in those woods as he thought he would have been. But luckily, he was in the safety of a locked vehicle. Oh, what, as what does that say? Opposed to attack. Is he a part of the National Rifle Association? Huh. Ooh. Handprints there. Lost America. crashes. Stuff like that. Fuck yeah. Um, <laughs> yep, he's a part of the NRA. Uh, dragging his wow, finger okay. on my side of my truck. Well, looks like to be trying to get inside my truck. More Toyota handprints Tundras are really good fucking truck. trucks. Um, at least the back canopy was locked, but... Um, yeah, that was the result. Oh, that's a gas guzzler, too. Another instance of someone having an unexpected... So, if what would you guys do if somebody was knocking on your truck and you're sleeping in the back of it? Um, get my gun. I've said that, like, clack? multiple times tonight. Yeah, grab your gun and click, tell click, them that you have a fucking gun. You'd be like, it's about to rain lead in this motherfucking woods. Oh, yeah. I'll bet you he was a crackhead. We got into the woods or something. That'd be funny if it was, like, somebody that's high on LSD and they're just walking around naked. They're like, this truck looks like it's fuckable. Oh, God. Expected visitor while car camping comes from the YouTube channel Asleep Five Decades. Asleep this Five Decades? This time it's a woman Lisa in her van camping out overnight. Oh, I think Lisa I've seen this one, too. Lisa nicknames her van the Dream Machine, which she travels in. Shit, can I make the joke? Can I please make the joke in honor of Chris Farley? I mean, it's your show. So, technically, she could be the person who lives in a van down by the river. Yeah. I'll see myself out now. She was awoken <laughs> from a deep sleep around 4.30 in the morning to a knocking on her van right by her head. There were three sets of knocks, each set with three knocks, and by the third set of knocks, she pulled out her phone and started recording. This is just creepy. Somebody's back here again. I hear footprints. Hello? Oh, at least How the person's nice. You? Oh, it's that, 4.30 never mind. in the morning. I don't feel safe. Who are you? <laughs> what do you think his question was? Fuck if I know. Would you like to hear about your car's extended warranty? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> fucking, w fucking learn, Spectre, learn. I, I I didn't have an idea at the time. Knowing you, if it was you, you'd be like, "Are you single?" Oh fucking what? <laughs> <laughs> That's mean. I'm joking. That's mean. 
The man knocking on the van can be heard saying, I have a question for you. For someone to approach a woman's van at 4.30 in the morning, knowing she's inside of it and saying, I have a she's question got... for you, is as big of a red flag she's... as can be. Her fucking hair is Lisa really black. out the front she's of her van cool. to see a car parked way down the road with its headlights on. Likely the car the person knocking on the van arrived in. Maybe so it was somebody who was wondering if she was stranded. And peeked out and parked way up on the drive. All I could see is like headlights. And then oh, never mind. That's way too far away for that. that. Whether there was someone else in the car or not is unknown. The next morning, Lisa finds large boot marks in the snow right outside Damn. her van. So Bigfoot wears boots. Did you know that? Enter the van. Do you guys know that Bigfoot wears boots? Indeed. Yeah. Bigfoot wears fucking huge ass boots. Only to realize it was locked. Luckily, Lisa had the doors locked, but after something like this happens, if you're in a vehicle, it would be best to get behind the wheel and drive somewhere else immediately. Exactly. Fortunately for Lisa, things didn't go south this time. That is lucky. Mm -hmm. In this last video, YouTuber Ads Ventures takes his... So, how's everybody doing so far? Pretty good. I'm... It's creepy, but I'm not scared. Three sets yeah. of knocks. Yes, there's three sets of me. As in, one dollar keeps on this. Five minutes of um, Fox knocks for five bucks, and ten dollars is the boobage. Devastator. Yes. Have fun with that. Stealth camper van out to the woods in honor of Halloween night. He brings. Oh, why would you do that at Halloween? You know there's going to be somebody that's going to fuck with Asking you. Asking for fucking trouble. Natural selection. Doing. Natural selection is coming for you. To the wood. Uh, well, it is a YouTuber. We YouTubers do anything we can for attention. Yeah, the Darwin Award kind of this year goes to. The really nice van down by the river. To continue yep. into the woods on foot. Here for now. Unfortunately, this is the closest that we can get. Oh, God, he's British, to too. We can't take the van any further, but I will be going in there on... He's got that fucking Jason Statham the woods, accent. An old church house and cemetery that he has to pass before entering the woods. Oh, that's scary. He decides to post scary. up and make a latte in the woods. This happens. How would you make a latte in the woods? Uh! Fuck. Uh! Oh, fuck! I gotta see that he decides again. decides to post up Whoa, and make wait. a latte in the woods. This happened. Look phases beyond in. here. Look beyond. It phases here. in and then it phases out. Yeah, look beyond right here, Specter. Okay. Okay. Pop out of oh, nowhere. Fuck no. That it's is La Llorona. A... Well, this is in the UK, it seems. So. Well, it's a lady in white, regardless. Yeah. yeah. Holy That's shit. That's just the name that I know her by over here. I don't really think this through. I should have got a saucepan with a lid. What the fuck? Oh, wow. <laughs> can be seen walking past in the back. There we go. Multiple times. He hears sounds not far away. And when he looks off to the you distance. You think it's a person it's or you think like... it's a spirit? Spirit. What do you guys think? It it's... phased in way too quickly and it was just, it disappeared and it way disappeared. too quickly. Yep. Mm -hmm. and, then, and he's right next to a church with a fucking graveyard. Yup. Yep. Why would you yep. make a latte right next to a fucking graveyard? Exactly. Like lights appear at times. What's that? Well, there's a light right in the distance over there. I'll oh, come up to that bit where the light was just showing in. Right what? there. Yep. There's a. Yep. And it's gone. And it's gone. Yep. I'm gonna have to go and check that out. I wouldn't go check that out, Jason but states notably, little brother. Perhaps you missed it. it was a silhouette-looking object just briefly exposed by the light. What? He's moved. I'm gonna have to go and check that out. <laughs> Oh! Oh! oh fuck. I see you. Oh shit! Oh my! Holy shit! Guys? Yeah, that that's way too translucent for it to be anything but a spirit. Yeah, get the hell out of Dodge. Run, bitch! Okay. Run! <laughs> Not be the last time this is seen. As he continues to walk, he stops in his tracks as he's sure he sees a person ahead of him in the darkness. I swear. Keep seeing someone hold on. Let's see what he sees. Uh, I think that was a tree, but I thought I saw something. Probably. I swear there was. There's a lot of bugs, though. I think I'm gonna go this way, to be honest with you. I would be going back to my car. Probably smart. That is a person. I'm not even joking. 
Oh shit! Oh. Did you see that? Whoa! Back that ass up. Let me also, see this. Also, it was a person. Let's watch this again. I'm gonna try to pause it right on it. That is a you can go frame by frame by hitting the uh, period and comma keys, by the way. Oh, I can? I'm just yeah. Period yeah. and comma keys? Yes. You go frame by frame. That is a person. I'm doing that, but... I'm not doing anything, but I'll just... Joke. Oh! Yeah, that's a person. I Jesus. want to make the obvious joke, but I don't Holy. want to make Madam Hellfire um, mad at me. <laughs> no, that looks more like Dream. Yeah. I was going to say the exact same thing. That's Dream, yeah. Holy he shit. He hasn't taken his normal pills today. Holy yep. shit. That is That's fucking freaky creepy. as fuck. Yeah. Oh, I can't see anything. Oh, that didn't even have a face. He says he's confident. You, can, you can't see a fucking face. This was a person. No. Oh my god, did you see that? Hold on, see if I can... That's yeah. what the mask he is. Says he's confident. I think this it's... was a person. It looks like he's wearing something yeah, no, he like saw a sock around his and face. Look at him. Others in the comments suggest it was a mannequin placed there by some. Yeah, it might be a mannequin. That might be a mannequin. Know. But there's no That'd face to it. That's weird. That's a Halloween true. Prank, while others bring up the close proximity to the cemetery and the white orbs and suggest that something paranormal was going on. And of course, there are some people who think it could have been staged as well. It could have been staged. Really happening yeah, video, very, very well could have been. Guess. And that is the end of that video. And before we play the last video, which is Chilling Scares, I have to go get a bottle of water. Because I just ran out of water. I'm going to go start the oven. So, this is not that long. It's 22 minutes. Okay? Okay. So... Spectre, you have one job. If I come back and my whole entire freaking audience is gone, I'm going to blame you. Please go and please entertain the chat. But at the same time, guys, this is your chance to kind of relax for a second before we go into the last video. So Spectre, Noted. be entertaining. I'll try. All right, what do y'all want, chat? <laughs> it might be DMAX, so I wouldn't know. I just scared myself that there was another person in the room with me and I was punching. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, that sucks. I gotta bake me some cheap. Yep. Make it fry rice today. Make some teriyaki chicken. Okay, very nice. Sounds e. good. Very nice. Yep. Let's see here. Maybe a prank? Nah. And others would see that well coming be. a mile away. 845 times what? What do you mean, true assassin? Oh. <laughs> oh, that's right, because Alex is live. That's right. Hey, I just came back and I didn't hear you being entertaining. What the hell? Well, we I was, were, talking, I, we were talking back and forth, yeah. Oh, okay. Anyways. Yeah, it just happened to come up <laughs> in a second that we were quiet. I'm just going to tell people this right now, there because I did a bad horror YouTube and a bad horror TikTok. There is not going to be a good horror TikTok, because let's face it, there is no such thing as a good horror TikTok. <laughs> yeah. That's true. So, this, I'm going to preview next week again. Next week, Dark... Darkest body cam footage on Wednesday and on Saturday, wrestling lol cows, where we go over Hulk Hogan, Ronda Rousey, and Dave Meltzer. Let's get in, let's get into this last one. And this one I am going to speed up because it is long. Twenty two yeah. motherfucking minutes long. Yep. Yes, but we have a lot of fucking time. But if you guys don't know Chilling Scares, he's actually really fucking good. It's the only one you're subscribed to, so Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
There's a reason why. He's really good. Urbex Hill is one of the most popular urban exploration channels on YouTube, featuring raw footage from YouTuber Chris Hill's visits to a- Don't you just love his voice? Yes, he's using a voice yep. modulator, by the way. He just uses it to lower his voice a little bit. A lot of the more extreme abandoned buildings in the U.S. From abandoned mental hospitals to decommissioned military facilities, Chris explores all of it, but specifically places that a lot of even the more extreme explorers wouldn't visit, at least not at night and alone like Chris always does. In January I would never 2023, do it at he uploaded footage of his visit nope. to the now abandoned Paul Revere Elementary School. I wouldn't do it at all. Nope. After almost a century of use, you wouldn't do it without clack clack. Exactly, click click boom. And you're and you're smart enough to know that if you hold the gun sideways, you're not going to hit shit. <laughs> nope. Remember, side holding a gun sideways is not a kill shot. It's a what the. It fuck makes you a stormtrooper. Yeah. The school was permanently closed in 2015 due to declining enrollment numbers. Although there are oh, allegedly cool. plans to turn the abandoned building into a housing complex, as of 20... Would you live in that? No. 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 Not at all. That looks like the, uh, the asbestos has black mold on it. Yeah. 2024, yeah. Paul Revere Elementary is still abandoned and in terrible shape. From the moment Chris walks inside, it's pretty clear that the place hasn't been used in years and has been severely damaged by the elements, vandals, and the passage of time. The yeah. bottom floors are all flooded, the walls are peeling, the structure doesn't seem too sound, Makes and sense. there's <laughs> They want to actually turn this into a housing complex? No, they just need to demolish it. Yeah, they need exactly. to fucking demolish it. Just random papers, books, and all kinds of debris lying everywhere. Throughout the video, you can see messages written in seemingly fresh chalk on some of the white wow. words, confirming that people have been in the building recently. This was actually you Chris's second her. visit to Paul Revere Elementary. When he uploaded footage of oh. his March 2022 visit to the school, several people in the comments mentioned they had either been students or teachers at the school. Oh, that's actually kind of cute. And scary oh, at the same time. that's super sweet, yeah. And talked about how incredibly sad it was to see their beloved childhood school ruined by abandonment and lack of maintenance. A little after 10 minutes into the exploration, you can hear some sort of ruffling sound and other strange noises coming from somewhere in the schoolhouse. Squatters. Or ghosts. Here's the thing about um, urban exploration. You're doing it in cities. There's probably going to be squatters. Probably. Most likely. And some squatters are not really that good of people. No. Natalie's losing her mind in chat, by the way. I think we should actually take a moment to say, Natalie, it's okay. We're here with you. Oh, yep. shit. I, did my frickin I thought I freaking sent the link. Apparently, it didn't send. What the hell? Weird. As Chris turns a corner in the hallway, another person's flashlight can be seen shining oh, down the hallway. Oh, that's a... I'm leaving. It looks yep, to be just I'm one gone. person who was likely either another oh. urban explorer or a squatter. Still. Spectre. If you turned a corner there and there's a flashlight pointing at you, how full would your underwear be with shit? All the way down to the trousers. Oh, damn. That's a lot of poop. Yep. <laughs> at 1 a.m. in an abandoned building, it's obviously best to avoid drawing unwanted attention to yourself, especially when you don't know the other person's intentions, which is why Chris ultimately decided to run instead of making his presence known. Making sure to walk in the other direction would have been smart. I would have been, been dumb. I would have been like, hi, dude, what's up? The top floors. As he goes into the I would have pulled out the gun and then, like, friend or foe. You would have been like, am I going to be doing a hate crime or what? Right. <laughs> we don't know. We don't know. It could have been. I'm just joking around. I apologize. Counter. <laughs> oh, we're heading into a bathroom. Oh, fuck. Whoa, frame by that frame shit. It. I can't frame by frame it. I don't know how to. I told you how to. I did hit comma and fucking period, and it didn't it's do that. Frame by frame, it won't look like it, like it's moving too much unless you click it a bunch of times. It it's hold on, I'm having issues. Hold on. Wow. Yeah. Hello. No. Fuck that. Hello. Guess what? Click I, click boom. Y it gets better because you know you'd be shooting at. Yeah. I know what you'll be shooting at, and I'm not going to ruin it for you. Somebody's in there. 
It looks like somebody. He's somebody's he posing for dominance. Yeah, he was. He was like, "I'm just doing. I'm getting ready for the Zapruder film." At the far end of the bathroom, what appears to be a human silhouette can be seen standing completely motionless. After the initial shock of the encounter, Chris draws his gun you and see goes back inside to confront. Oh my God! Did you see that? The man. Yeah, I saw it. Hello. Oh, he's he does here. have a click click. Yeah, he's got a click click, but I can't remember if it's a good click click or not. Yes. Oh. It's, a, it's a fucking toy. So you would have been just shooting a toy. Mama said it's my turn on the Xbox. Hey, 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 hey. You sure shoot first, ask questions later. Yeah. It don't matter. It, it It's it's just fucking, if you see somebody in an abandoned fucking building, you don't know if they got an axe. You don't know if they're a killer clown. You don't know if they're fucking a fan of Slenderman. Nope. That scared the out of me. It would have scared the shit out of me, too. But it's just a toy. As it turns out, the silhouette was actually a scary mannequin that somebody set up, probably to scare away visitors. What's most eerie is that even though we can't know for sure how long the mannequin had been standing there before the footage was shot, for some reason it fell forward just in time for Chris to see it. The most reasonable... What do you think is the most reasonable explanation for why it fell? Uh, Wind? Could be. Spectre? Oof. Spectre? I was asking you. He's opinion. muted. Yeah, I'm still here. I'm still here. Why are you muting? Okay, I'm just going to continue. Well, explanation being yeah. from the sound waves bouncing off the wall. Most. I don't. I've never seen sound waves drop something no. like that. I don't think no, that's no, even no. clumps close to it. It's people would have left as soon as they saw the mannequin, but Chris continued to explore the rest of the school, seemingly unmoved by the horrifying experience he just went through. Oh my god, that is a That is pretty creepy. creepy. That's a Halloween decoration. Indeed. Oh, not before clearing the entire rest of the bathroom. Sadly, some of the rooms in the school- Imagine if there was a squatter taking a shit, just said. What would you- It's like, do you mind? are filled with books, whiteboards, and other perfectly usable materials that could have been donated to the school. Why would you leave all that shit out there? Why did they leave all this shit? Laziness, Ooh. maybe? Or just abandonment. Yeah, Inspector, why are you muting? Because internet was shitting out on me. Oh. And I couldn't hear any of y'all. I couldn't hear any of y'all, so I didn't want to sound like I was roboting. Oh, okay. Building was abandoned. Yeah, just thinking but of the nobody seemed to care enough to give them away before the school was abandoned. Hey, I would take an hour into the visit. Books. Chris climbs up to the roof, which in itself is pretty risky. Even yeah, I never go to the fucking roof. You don't know if it's gonna fall in. If you yep. don't care about getting caught by the cops, there's still a very high risk of the roof caving in, especially Thank considering you. the state of the building when the footage was shot. Fortunately, he was able to climb down safely, but that's when a strange noise could be heard coming from the other end of one of the hallways. Let's hear the strange noise. Safe is still. Oh, that was a howl. Did you hear that? Yeah. It was just a little fucking howl. Safe is still here. Ow. Yeah, that was just a fucking howl. It could have been a fucking dog outside. He's mm -hmm. already high strung because of the last oh! two encounters. Watch this again. I can't do for I, I'll just watch this again. You see it? Oh, yep. I want to I'm going to actually going to slow down the playback speed so you guys can see it a little bit clearer. I need to teach you how to do fucking frame by frame seriously. I was just trying to mm -hmm. do it. All if I did you click was, on something outside of the video, it's not going to work. I I didn't. I clicked on the fucking video. There is something walking right there. That's freaky. Get the gun out. Get the blicky. Click, click, bang, bang. Get the blicky. As Saliva once said, click, click, boom. He's seen it too. As Chris explores one of the rooms, a strange howl can be heard in the distance. And as he raises his camera, you can clearly see a shadow moving behind the door at the far end of the room. By this point, it's pretty clear well, that I not only are multiple do. other people in the building... But say... But say... Me, I'm more of a fight or flight kind of guy. I would literally be running out the fucking door. I okay. would be pulling the gun up and backing out slowly. 
That's because you but, have training. I don't. Yeah, but also notice that there's no other door behind there. It yeah, just they're... goes behind that door and disappears. It's creepy, isn't it? Building with him, but now it's he's creepy. possibly being stalked. Once again, Chris draws his gun and prepares for an encounter, but he See, doesn't find smart. anyone in any of the rooms. After this, he admits he's ready to call oh, the night and decides it to went. Head. It went that way, right? It went. Well, you would have seen it. Yeah. It would have passed yeah. by the door, but we don't see it pass by the door. And we it don't just, see it go back. No, it doesn't fucking go into this door. There's nothing right here where it could have walked nope, to. Because that's it was why I said. This. That's why I said. But not before this final encounter. No shit, Sherlock. I would be leaving. Oh, here it is. This place is crazy. Yeah, cray cray. Last time I exploded. Don't go upstairs. Oh. Uh, guys, one thing we should learn from horror movies. If you hear a noise, don't go up the st and investigate. Save your own fucking yep. ass. Mm -hmm. Fuck that shit, I'm out. Yeah, you're right there at the oh, exit. Oh, you're dumb. Dude. You're so dumb. Whoa. What? Okay, I know I heard somebody coming down these stairs. I'm out. Yeah, Lee. As he struggles to find his way out of the school, the sound of footsteps can be clearly heard on the stairway directly above Chris's head. But after running up and calling out to see if he gets a response, nobody acknowledges him. You're Luckily, dumb. he was able to walk away yeah. unharmed and has continued to upload videos of his visits to abandoned places pretty frequently. I'm not a f I've never actually subscribed to Urbex. No so. survival instincts of this guy. No. Besides bringing the blicky. The yep. Proper People is an urban exploration channel Ooh, owned by Simon and Michael. Can we take a moment to appreciate that name? That is actually kind of a cool name. The Proper People. Yeah, that's actually very nice. Yeah. Let's two see. friends who travel the world in search of abandoned buildings. Caught by security at an abandoned Chinese power plant? Why the fuck would you go to a Chinese power plant? For the past right. 10 years that their channel has been active, Brian and Michael have built up a reputation for being a trustworthy channel that only uploads genuine footage of their explorations. Okay. In a niche of YouTube that's often plagued by cheap, fake footage from people trying to get their 15 minutes of fame, the proper people... Can we applaud that? There's too many of those out there. And I showed some of them on the bad horror YouTube um, stream. It's You can watch the bottom of that if you want to see bad horror YouTube. Trust me. There are some horrible ones out there. People has endured yep. as one of the most reliable channels in the urbex space. They gained their fame from explorations of oh, genuinely cool just... places instead of faking. Uh, I would be like, fuck that. I am not crossing that bridge. Sam, that's a death wish. I am severely terrified of heights. Creepy encounters or anything. So am I, besides. but even then I still wouldn't. In 2016, they uploaded a video of their nighttime visit to the Jemison Center in Northport, Alabama, often referred to as... Oh, they went down to Alabama. Do you think they heard any banjos? Yes. Cab docks, I cast boobstick. <laughs> Thank you, Devastator. <laughs> Bryce Hospital. From 1939 to 1977, the Jemison Center housed oh, hundreds of psychiatric patients and acquired a reputation for treating them pretty hard. Uh, that doesn't look like a safe building to be in at all. No, that sound that looks like a phasmophobia map. Yes, it does. Let's take it. Madam Hellfire went to go deal with her oven. Most likely. Okay. Harshly, often referred to as the creepiest building in Alabama, Old Bryce was closed in the late seventies and has since been reclaimed by nature and become a hot spot. Yeah, it for looks like it's been closed since the seventies. As Michael and Brian approach the location yeah. of the car, there doesn't seem to be anyone around. And after driving around the grounds for a while, the two YouTubers you gotta get... love how the fucking pillars are still standing, though. ...out of their vehicle to begin exploring, settling on the basement as the first area to explore. Why you go after to the more than four yeah, decades of abandonment, the entire complex is almost completely destroyed. And while some of the walls are completely covered in all kinds of graffiti, some of them aren't even there What anymore. the hell is that? Did somebody just turn this into a toilet? I think so. I think they turned it into a makeshift toilet. That's just creepy. Or, with the state of disrepair of the Jemison Center, there's always a chance that the yeah. structure could collapse on itself and trap Brian and Michael inside. Yeah, don't go into. But as they go up the stairs to explore the top floor, it becomes clear that oh, an God, look at that. no one do that. Nobody. Guys, if you guys are gonna go urban explore, ex bleh, if you guys are gonna explore urban areas, pick ones that do not look like they're going to fall in on you. Well, look at this. And collapse within itself. Yeah. Look at the staircase out here. 
Oh shit, do you see that? Yep. Look in the distance. Yeah, I saw it. Mm-hmm. There is a fucking flashlight right there. Yep, meaning somebody else is in the room with them. Oh. And it just somebody there. Oh, no. that just went off. Yes, yes, see that That's not a reflection. I when I first saw this, I thought it was a reflection because if you notice, they have a um flashlight, obviously. It could be in a fl reflection, but yeah. watch. Watch. Now, if it was a reflection, it wouldn't have gone off a second after they did. Yep. Somebody there. No way. Yes, yes, I see their light. They're out there. I yeah, swear I life. would leave. Right there. Yeah, get the hell out of Dodge. Leave. Something went into your eye, Natalie. I, hopefully you can get it out. I'm sorry that that happened. I that break sucks. out not being night vision goggles. Not all of us have night vision goggles, Jojo. No, not everybody does. No. Let's go back to the car. This way. Those things are expensive. Yeah. Somebody wanted to talk to us. Let's go to the car now. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Good plan. Go to the car. As the camera pans to the window, the outline of a person holding up a light can be seen on the staircase. I on can't the see an outline of a person. I just see the light opposite side of the building. Disturbingly, as soon as the uploaders turn off their light, the other person does the exact same thing, indicating mm. they were watching and didn't want to be spotted. Chillingly, if you rewind the footage to when the YouTubers arrived at the top floor, you can clearly see a light outside the window frame. But oh, it, well, we don't even know where they are. If the light be. was coming from the same person who was watching them. That's After calling creepy. out and receiving no response, Brian and Michael decide to go back to their car to avoid getting jumped or worse. You see, now that's smart. When you're dealing with stuff like this, don't fucking just like go, oh, hello. You don't know if that person is dangerous or not. Put it this way. Think about this. Madam Hellfire has mentioned, I'll pull out the Glock a lot, right? Now I'll try being on that other yep. thing, on the other side, where you don't mean harm. You're just like exploring. You say hello, and all of a sudden you get shot by somebody who doesn't know what the fuck they're doing. Mm -hmm. So that does fucking happen happens more often than you think. It's hard to know what exactly the intentions of the other person were, but what's even more disturbing is the fact that there were no other cars in the area when they arrived and when yeah, they left. Yeah, but we don't know exactly. Whoever was there we actually, I see stuff in the distance. It doesn't look like it's that far from civilization. Somebody could have just walked there. That is also a possibility. Definitely a possibility. Yeah. Probably been there for a while. And welcome back. Ridgely Hospital was a woman's psychiatric hospital in Lancaster. Why is it always okay, crazy? Actually, I'll be right back hospitals. as well. Why is it always crazy people hospitals? Why can't it be just like an orphanage or something at this point? Manchester, UK, that operated for almost 100 years from 1916 to 2013. Famous for being one of the first psychiatric hospitals in the UK that fought for the humane treatment oh, it's of the mentally UK. ill patients, Ridgely Hospital housed thousands of patients DVD and, used and film blow for now in your country. Convulsion therapy to help patients with a range of disorders Aww. from severe depression to obsession to mania. It's a nice In April 2022, building. YouTuber Exploring with Tom visited the site with three of his friends in the middle of the night. Throughout their visit, they were extremely loud and not aware of their surroundings, which is obviously not the best idea. Uh, that doesn't surprise me. It's a bunch of teen young people. If you're going to be an urban explorer, explorer, don't fucking make so much noise that you alert everyone. Yep. You're technically breaking and entering, and technically you're showing your crime. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when exploring an abandoned building. Keep in mind that most of these abandoned buildings are still considered government property, which makes it exactly. illegal to trespass and explore the grounds. Still, if you disturb a hostile squatter's home by being obnoxiously loud, getting arrested would probably be the least of your worries. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Uh, I'm not scared of you. I'm not. I think someone is here after that. Oh yeah, they're After just hearing some strange noises from one of the rooms, the these guys are immature as fuck. Four explorers oh, yeah. call out to see if there's anyone in the building, and this is where things get a little disturbing. Hello? What? Oh shit! You see that? They played a stupid game and got a stupid answer. Fuck around, find out. They were fucking with it. What? Yeah. They blurred it out, but there's a guy warning towards them. Hey, 
Everyone okay? Everyone okay? Keep calm. Keep calm. Wow, they have a lot of fucking stairs. What the? Get out! Get out! Get out! This seems staged to me. Doesn't it? Not hundred percent. It seems too fucking Most staged. Most likely. What you want? Because if it's a squatter, why does the squatter have that bright of a fucking um, like that. flashlight? As soon as one of the teenagers calls out, I mean, I'm sorry, but that seems a little bit fucking sus. That's so sus. It seems very fake. Yeah. Can be heard screaming from inside the room. Without thinking twice, Tom and his friends make a run for it back to their car. But disturbingly, the man isn't satisfied with just scaring them out of the building and ends up chasing them all the way to their car. It's unknown who the man was or what he wanted from them, but one of the theories that's been echoing in the comments is that he was probably a homeless person who got upset at the amount of noise Tom and his friends were making. It's probably Could not be, too but pleasant at the same to have four rowdy teenagers burst sus. into the abandoned building you call your home. I'll t I'm going to explain Very why much I think so. it's us. Um, hang on, let me go back. Let me try to well, actually One of the theories that's it. been echoing in the comments is that he was probably a homeless person who got second. upset at the amount of noise Tom and his friends were making. It's probably not too pleasant to have four rowdy teenagers... Look at the brightness of that light. If they're being chased by a squatter, I highly doubt they have enough money to get a fucking light that bright. Unless yeah. they steal it. Yeah. Yeah, somebody stole it, yeah. Burst into the abandoned building you call your home and start yelling, laughing, and swearing. But still, it's good they were able to get away unharmed. It probably was fake. In 2006, Most a 36 year old man named Vincent Filia was living in the woods as a fugitive near Lugoff, South Ooh. Carolina, after being accused of abusing okay. his stepdaughter. In oh, this guy's oh. a fucking prick. Fuck him. Yep. Remember of that same year, he saw a 14 year old girl named Elizabeth Schof getting oh, off the school God, bus and decided worse. to abduct her. Posing as a police officer, Filia arrested Shof on a supposed marijuana charge and led her to his hideout in the middle of the woods. Okay, this guy's days, a prick. Elizabeth was chained up this guy and used by Filia in the... Okay, this yep. guy deserves a chair. Yep. yep. Underground bunker beneath the hideout in what can only be described as a nightmare come true. Still, the girl was extremely resilient throughout the whole ordeal and came up with a plan to escape from the horrifying situation she found herself in. If she wanted girl. to escape, Elizabeth knew that she had to get Vincent to like her. Very smart. For several days, she pretended to be in love with Philia, and eventually the kidnapper lowered his guard, even unchaining her and allowing her to play games on his phone. One night, that was while stupid. Vincent was sleeping, the teenager got a hold of his phone and sent a text to her mom saying she was in a hole across the charm hill, that there was a bomb, and to call the police. As it was later revealed, Philia had planned to draw in as many okay, people as possible to the bunker to detonate a bomb and take the lives of the responding... That's a... That's a Fuck person em. that you just is like, hey, get that fucking click, click, bang, bang out and just like some vigilante justice. Officers. However, mm -hmm. he never managed to carry out his plan. For just a few minutes later, the area was surrounded by... Oh shit, those are fucking military helicopters. Helicopters, and he was forced to surrender. To make a long oh, story shit. short, Elizabeth was able to move on with her life. And the monster that's named good. Vincent Filia spent the rest of his life in prison, where he died in 2021 in his cell. Honestly, I hope his death was fucking long and he suffered horribly. Yep. So do I. That that kind of shit is like there's a, a special YouTuber place named in hell. Yeah. The Big Banks visited the abandoned hideout where the terrifying crime took place. Why would you do that? Immediately upon entering the house, the uploader finds something extremely disturbing. I think this was the little girl's uh, backpack. Uh, yeah. Um, this fucking disturbing. But why were you going to a fucking piece a little of girl's shit's backpack home. can be seen on the floor outside the kitchen, although it's impossible. I understand that people, like, see these fucking news stories and want to go to those fucking places for some fucking reason, but I just find it to be a bad taste. A part, a part of me wants to, but I want to at least find a location that is secure, for one, and probably wouldn't collapse on top of me. Yeah. Possible to confirm if it belonged to Elizabeth Shove. It is possible that it was planted there after the crime by somebody else. As he explores the living room, the uploader finds more creepy stuff, including a DVD of the horror movie The Strangers, a Halloween oh, just... decoration next to one of the couches, a shank, a broken baseball bat, and a ripstick. Obviously, ripstick. the fact that these items were left behind is much more disturbing when you consider the history of the house. It's heartbreaking to imagine that some of the toys lying around the floor possibly belonged to the girl that Vincent Oh, that's just stolen. disturbing. Throughout the rest of the house, several objects and pieces of furniture, including the bed in the main room, look like they were placed there much later than 2006. Squatter? Most likely. It's possible that the house was occupied by squatters, but because it was yeah. empty at the time the footage was oh, shot, there we go. it's impossible to know what belonged to <laughs> Phil Yaw, his common-law family, his victim, and the squatters. Thankfully, after being reunited with her family in 2006, Elizabeth went on to live a fruitful life, and the man who committed the heinous crime against her paid the price for it. Yeah, but I... Uh, this is just me. I would never go to these fucking places. Because these are the places where people have been hurt or 
fucking went through a lot of fucking trauma. I would respect those fucking victims and never go to those mm-hmm. fucking places. Because you don't, in my opinion, we shouldn't celebrate people who do shit like that. Yeah. They Holton should be Avenue forgotten. is a notoriously creepy abandoned street in Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, we're and going that... to Cleveland. Anyone else been to Cleveland? Nope. I never want to go. No, I haven't. In 1913, the first Hungarian Baptist church was built on that street, eventually falling into disuse and being left abandoned like the rest of the buildings on that street. Okay. In April 2016, the body of a woman named Jessica Coleman was found there after she went missing. Oh, fuck. But unfortunately, oh, her... fuck. Well, it is Cleveland. They have a high murder rate. Indeed. Hacker was never mm-hmm. found. In July 2023, Chris Hill went to the location to record footage of the abandoned church, as well as the rest of the buildings on Holton Avenue. From disturbing graffiti to broken glass and peeling walls, the church checks every box you expect from a creepy abandoned building. I'd, as I'd, go, in, I'd still go in there. It looks nice. You know, just sitting there, just listen to the um, stuff. But at the same time, that's where a woman's body or a young girl's body was found. I would probably not at the same time. I'd be like, yeah, because yeah, little girls equals nope. No. Into the basement, Chris finds signs that someone else had been inside the church, including an action figure of Melvin the Giraffe from Madagascar. That- what the fuck? Imagine that's going really down odd. and that's the first thing you see. That's super odd. Yeah. That he mentioned San Diego. Seen the last time he visited the location. Knowing that he's often not alone during his explorations, Chris set up several cameras throughout the church, and about 10 minutes into the exploration, one of the cameras on the main floor captures something pretty creepy. Okay, I want to see this. That's weird. Oh! Oh! Oh, hello. That's weird. Door open. Oh, Door yep, closed. Yep. Could be a squatter. Probably. Yeah. But still, that would freak me out. That was upstairs. Yep. Obviously, doors don't just randomly shut themselves. And exactly. as it wasn't particularly windy that night. And at the same time, yeah, this is pretty good night vision, but you can't see what's beyond the door. You mm-hmm. see the door. You don't see the fucking... You see blackness beyond the door. There could be somebody hiding in there. It's clear that someone was in the church with Chris. But after yep, looking around for a bit... kind of see saw it, movement, yeah. He can't yeah. find anyone in the church and decides to head back outside to explore the rest of the buildings on Holton Avenue. If the church was in a messed up state, some of the houses are even worse, with most of them looking like they could collapse at any second. Around. Then why doesn't the city do something about this? Because that costs money. Oh, yeah, true. Yep. Capitalism. That's where all your would go to. Half an hour into the visit, he decides to explore one of the most dilapidated houses on the block. And as he's in the basement, the exploration takes a scary turn. Okay. It looks like it's just underneath the house. It's not really a basement. Still that's a that's that's not a basement. He hears something. Okay, what are we going? Okay. Oh, there's a person there. You see that? Yep. There's a person living in the very fucking dilapidated house. Yep. It's a very, Yep, sounds about right. And he doesn't look like he's too happy, or I can't really tell, but looks. he doesn't look like he's charging at the person. He's just like, what the fuck is what that? What the fuck? Yeah. Sorry. At least the guy was nice. <laughs> yeah, at least he apologized. That's a specter move. Oh, sorry. Please, please. Yeah, no, I would. I absolutely no. I absolutely would. Please put your pants You're back right. on. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they in Asmongold's house? Thank you, Pidgey. Oh my God. Oh, Asmongold's you know house. That... Fucking hell. That was okay. good. Okay. He he, he deserves this. <laughs> Get well soon, Ray Ripley. Nice. Yep. Yep. I would be saying more than shit. I'd be like, oh, it's fuck. Like, I knew somebody was in there. I smell like shit. <laughs> As he's exploring the basement, <laughs> yeah, it was definitely as an old house. Floor, and yeah. when he goes back up to find out what it is, a person pulls back the curtain. Immediately apologizing, Chris runs back out to the street, and that's when he realizes that despite the horrible state How of the supposedly abandoned something? house, Wait. there was actually someone living in there with electricity. 
Clearly most, if not all of the abandoned buildings on the block were housing people now who didn't want him there. Something he never encountered on his first Dude, visit. there's electricity in there. Why? Within... Uh, did he go in the backyard and not see that? Probably not. This newfound discovery, Chris called it a night. Smart. In February yeah. 2020, urban explorer Rhythm Rider explored an abandoned house at an undisclosed location with his exploration partner, Zay Clark. That's According a nice to Riddle, house. the house used to belong to an old woman who had passed away. Except it's In cluttered. complete contrast to most abandoned houses, most of the woman's possessions had been left untouched, indicating that the house had not yet fallen prey to looters Ooh. and squatters who often take things that aren't theirs. All throughout the house... Hoarder. This, yeah, this is a hoarder situation, but at the same time, those freaking... That freaking china set looked nice. The two explorers find everything yeah. from beautiful tableware and silverware oh, to ornately woven tapestries yeah. and a fully equipped bar. Based on the calendars they a found full, in the house... Hey, that has a fully equipped bar. We need to find this yeah, location and have a party. You don't know how good that stuff is. No, probably not. Yeah. Oh, so the property hadn't been occupied since August 2018. Just a few minutes into the visit, Rinnem and Zay find something incredibly sad and disturbing. Oh, you worried about something like this? Oh, I, I remember this part. Um, I Before we continue, I'm going to tell you, if you're sensitive, don't watch this next part. Okay? Sensitive okay. how? It's yeah. going to show something. I, it's not really fucking gory, but I'm just going to say that this woman ha was left in the house for a pretty decent amount of time. Oh, um, boy. Ah. And so that there is a point in this, which I remember when I was looking at this, I was debating whether or not to show, and I decided to show it. But it is depressing. Okay? Okay. Okay. So if you guys are sensitive, look away now. Um, and then it did. When we walked in here, we took a few steps in the door, and we saw this on the ground. Oh. Now, for those who can figure, out, excuse me, figure out what that is, that is a body stain. That, yeah, that's a body stain. That's why I said yeah. it's not really that gory, but it's it's sad. Yeah. That it, sucks. Yeah. And you can see right there, there's a walker. So, yeah. unfortunately, it seems that the woman who had lived here, had taken a bad fall, landed on the floor, <clears throat> and that's where she expired, unfortunately. Um, unfortunately. It's extremely, extremely sad. The worst kind of I've fallen and I can't get up. To, uh, yeah. Yep. what we're going to do here. And, um, you know, despite it feeling weird, we figured we still need to tell the story because this is a good reminder to everybody that you need to check on your loved ones. And, see and that's the other reason I decided to show it, because I do, I do believe in that. If y'all have loved ones that are elderly or even have issues going around check on them of okay. your loved yeah. ones that make sure I, that I, 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 I also don't mean this is a joke life alert yeah life something alert. that will they can press that will alert the authorities immediately yep. so and get them help i'm just gonna say this because i had to take care of my elderly father as everybody knows he passed away last year and it's getting close to the to the um and a one year anniversary of that and when i seen this it reminded me to spend as much time with people that you care about because you never know what will happen. Yep. Mm -hmm. This woman had passed and was laying here for God knows how long before she was found. So check in on your loved ones, guys. Yes. Yeah, check in right on in your the loved ones. The hallway, a human body stain can be seen on the floor next to a walker indicating that the old woman probably had a bad fall and couldn't get up. Sadly, she passed away yeah. and her body decomposed before anyone could save her, which is a terrifying way to die. It is There appear terrifying. to be signs that the woman's family members tried to sort through her things after she passed away, but overall, her various belongings are in perfectly good shape, including her bathroom supplies, which were still there at the time of the recording. It's hard to watch the footage without Why having you have an ashtray feelings. in your bathroom? Even though the house is beautiful, and you can easily tell that the woman who lived there with her husband was a talented, outgoing person, it's incredibly sad to see how she met her end. Overall, the footage that serves as a reminder to check out your ones every time you yeah, it is. because nobody deserves Most to Most carpets like are. Since 2020, Ridden with Rider hasn't gone back to that location. I wouldn't go back to that location either. But I apologize, people, for that because, honestly, I wanted to share that because it's a reminder we should all take care of our loved ones. Amen to that. So, we're going to end now. Now, I am going to be doing a watch along on my server for the movie Late Night with the Devil. I'm probably going to do it tonight because we have a lot of time before I have to go do other things. 
Mm-hmm. So if you guys want to hang out tonight, I will be in the VC and we're going to be watching Late Night with the Devil. I'll leave a announcement in there. But I wish you all a very, very lovely night. I'll see you guys, some of you probably, for the um, watch along. But next week, darker side, the darker, uh, dark, the the darkest body cam, police body cam footage, which you guys can give me suggestions for. And wrestling, and wrestling low cows, Madam Hellfire. What do you have coming up? Uh, tomorrow, I finish the Walton Files, and then um, I'm not sure what I'm doing next Sunday. I'll figure it out. Spectre, what are you doing? Okay, so by the end of the month, I'm thinking April 28th, uh, I will be releasing my video talking about Helldivers 2. Um, and currently, I am in talks with my Auss- Aussie buddy, Sean. We are wanting to do a second channel for Horror Stories. We're not nice. sure yet. We're, we're thinking about it. We're still in talks because uh, he, he loved the idea. He came up with the idea first, so we'll see. And Watch Station wanted me to share this meme. It says, think, Sony, think. Did you think this would happen if you teased another tra- <laughs> teased me in a trailer for another game after nearly eight years of ignoring me? I didn't have a single PS4 release, not even a remaster, and it's about Sly Cooper. That's funny. Yeah. So we're going to head out. Um, 9.30, we are going to start watching Late Night with the Devil. If you guys want to watch it with us, it's a horror movie. It's a pretty good horror movie. I invite all of you to watch it with me. I won't start until at least Spectre shows up for the scary, scary, scary things. <laughs> but you guys have a good night. And thank you both for Bye-bye. coming. Nice. Absolutely. Have a good one, guys. Mm-hmm.